What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another KJ Lifestyle video. We are back here with the Stinger and in this video we're going to be doing a roof wrap and we're also going to be wrapping the side vents down here and I'm going to keep this line right here because I think that's going to look really good almost like the BMW 7 series. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to do this. This might not be a full tutorial video, but I'm going to be showing you how I've seen people do it on other videos. Um, so I guess you guys can follow along if you're doing it yourself. So we're going to start off by taking off the antenna on the roof so we can get to the roof wrap. So moving to the back of the car now, as you guys can see, I've pulled down the weather stripping. You're going to have to pull this down and there's going to be three clips you have to undo. There's one right in the center here. You can see this one right there. There's also going to be these two clips, there's one right here, then the other one's right there, that are going to be on the sides that you have to pull down. How I did that is I took some interior pry tools and I pushed it in, and then once I was able to get the pliers in, needle nose pliers, you put those in, squeeze and pull down, and I was able to take them out, and I also just took them out just to make sure I didn't lose them or they didn't break. Not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but up there, there is, as you can see right up there, there is a harness you have to disconnect. Then there's also another harness up there that I'll be able to show you once I actually get the fin off and a bolt that holds on the shark fin right here so you can take that off. Next step, you're going to get your ratchet with an extension and a 19 millimeter socket. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down here, slide it in sideways and then kind of rotate it up. The contour of the roof slopes down. As you can tell, it is a hatchback. So all we're going to have to do is get this in slide it turn it and i guess it's pretty tight from what i heard from another video so you're gonna have to use some force to hold it down ratchet it off and then you should be able to take off the shark fin all right so i'm just going to show you guys how i got this in there right now i just kind of held it down and it's holding itself up right now and got to go very slow but it's going so i think now i have it to the point where i can just hand loosen it and bingo there it is right there so now that that's off, I'm pretty sure all we have to do is come over here, kind of wiggle this around a little bit. Be very careful not to break any wires. And there we go, got it off. Now that we got the fin off, the next order of business is these pieces right here. So I already took this one off just to see how I'd be able to do it. All you have to do is get a, two pry tools, kind of work your way. I started over here. Work your way from the inside, push it in and lift up. And then it won't obviously come up that easy, but as you can see, these little clips right here, the green indicates, or this blue, green, turquoise, whatever it is, indicates that it's on the passenger side. And it also tells you right over here. All right, so now that you got both of those trim pieces off and the shark fin off, just get some water and a rag. Make sure the roof is very, very clean. Also, maybe you wanna get in these little inlays right here. I'm also going to do this back piece right here, so I'm going to clean that up, and I'm also going to put some knifeless tape along this edge right here, just to keep that same line going throughout the whole roof. I'm just using the Vivid Pro Automotive Film, just in the gloss black. Uh, it was on Amazon, 3x5 sheet, that's all you need for the Stinger, and I think it was about $25, not too bad. Alright, fast forward like 30 minutes, as you can see, I got pretty much the whole roof wrapped, even this back piece right here. Got the knife list sticking out so we can pull that up and hopefully it'll rip right off. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I did pretty much the whole entire thing. Uh, obviously, I didn't film it just because I couldn't prop the camera up and I had somebody helping me and I just wanted to focus because the last time I did a roof wrap, it did not go very well. So yeah, pretty much the only thing left that I have to do is pull the knife list, um, get all the corners and edges cut. Like I said, make these two cuts right here. Alright guys, I did want to mention I ran into a little problem here with the shark fin putting it back in. Make sure you guys cut out a hole from where that hole originally was. Don't just make a slit and try to put it in there. I did that the first time and what happened was the uh, wrap got in the threads of the bolt that went into the shark fin and actually did not let it tighten down all the way so there was a little bit of play so I just trimmed that out and cut it down so I'm going to put it back in and hopefully that'll fix the problem. Alright we are back it is the next day and we have a package as you can see so this right here is going to be doing most of my chrome delete and also protecting from wind noise and the rain so these are just the little window visors I'm going to slap those on real quick and then we'll get to cutting the piece for this right here. Thank you. 
this I cut, I cut two pieces at 46 inches and two pieces at 28 inches. The 46 are obviously for the front doors, the 28 are for the rear. I did them four inches long, so I had a little bit of room uh, to mess around with the material so that won't get stuck. Alright guys, so once again that video took me so long to make just because I had work and a bunch of other stuff now being back home for the summer, but we did get a few things accomplished. We wrapped the roof, the mirrors, the side vents, and that little trim piece underneath the doors. We also did the wind and rain covers over the windows, and the last thing I have to do in terms of chrome is paint that last trim piece, but I'm not going to have time to do that for another week or so. So that will be coming in the near future. As for right now, that is the only thing that is left on the car that is that polished chrome. As for mods, I do have one very special mod coming in hopefully a week, maybe two weeks. I'm not sure. I have to wait to hear back from the company that I am super excited about. This is probably the best mod to do for a Kia Stinger, regardless of if you're tuning it or not. You guys probably already know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you. As for this video, that is going to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, probably just some time lapses of me doing the stuff on the car. Um, if you guys have any questions with how I did this stuff, leave a comment in the box below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible so you guys can do it yourself and have a little bit more ease than I did. Just like that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. We are on our way to a new subscription goal, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more content coming with this car in the future. If you have any suggestions, as well leave that in the comment box below make sure to be kind be happy and be grateful i'll see you in the next one